whipped cream. No, I like whipped cream. And, uh... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is the way you serve it, just like that. Well, you know, this recipe was really too easy. Was it should, too easy? This was too easy, yeah. It's not easy for you. We, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, yeah. Ow! <laughs> uh huh. And now. You know, we're out of time. We're out of time. Yeah. Well, well we're just going to have to. Cut something out of the middle. <laughs> On this show, that's not going to be hard to do. <laughs> I want to welcome everybody out there to another episode of At Home in the Range, the cooking show for the Deranged. Hey. All right. It's ours, John. It's ours. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Welcome to the garage and another edition of At Home on the Range. Sounds Al is like... getting colorful. Is that what you call it? <laughs> Al is getting weird. <laughs> what is that? Well, you put your lollipop on and it goes around. Barbara, I can imagine what you'd use that for. Well, no, it's not a marital aid. This is a, a lollipop thing. All right. It's for, it's for, you know, All for right, good let's, let's start the show. Okay, wait, 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 though. We have our present. We got presents. Oh, yeah, I got that in the mail. Okay. I haven't opened it yet. John got this in the mail From... today. And this comes to us. Well, it's your thing. You it was open. postage paid. Yes. From Fox. From Fox. Fox. This Fox. came to us. Oh. It's a scissor. Fox is in trouble. <laughs> what is it? A note. March 16th. John, I'm ready for the haircut. Just be sure you become famous. Here's this to shared, sheared, shared, sheared success. And Talk to you from, soon. John, John Miller. But you have to John understand that, the, that when um, John Miller was here from Fox, he had long hair. He still has long hair. Ponytail. And so I was This so guy's proud. got hair down to here. He does not. He does, too. He does not. Looks like a girl. So he does not. So he came down to see us, and John was very well behaved. And then just at the last minute, he said to him... Boy, I hope I get famous. Wow. <laughs> he said to him, do you think if this show takes off, you'll make some money? So John Miller said, yeah, I think so. And John Crean said to him, well, do you think you could afford a haircut then? <laughs> Oh. Oh well. So that's well. his scissor. And right. he all he sent us this. Boy. You think I could have your oh no. There, all right. Whoa. Hey, watch, there's a lot of silicone on my body. All right. Okay. I love presents. Boy. Now where'd this come from? This was from John too. Really? Yes. Oh, look at this. It's an Ask Mike Super Slicer! Wow! 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 wow. wow. Just like on the infomercial! Isn't that a good thing? Well, the last time he was in the audience, you had that rusty old thing, remember? Yeah. That if you would have cut yourself, you would have died. <laughs> Well, wow, a super slice. Isn't that great? Are we selling these? No, but maybe if Let's we do a away. good job. All right, what's next? What's next? All right. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, wasn't that nice? That was very we'll nice. We'll figure out how to use that. Yeah. Well, you should read the directions, though. I'll read the directions. Do you notice my apron? Terrific. I you look great. Luck. I'm trying to use apron and cleavage. No, it looks is, good. I'm trying to come good. up with my own apron line. So I was trying to come up with something different, and I haven't seen mm. aprons with cleavage. But you know what impressed me the most about that outfit when you what? showed me? Is the pants. 
I want you to stand right over here where people can, can see you. Show them how those pants come apart. Okay, these are fun pants, and they come, they, if you just, you, they, you can just cut them away. So like if you're going for a quickie, you just pull the front of them, and they just come yeah. right off, because these are all snaps. Snaps. And you know, you, when you're in the kitchen, and no. you have a lot of cleavage, you never no. know. No. When I, but you know, when I was, when I was young, they never had nothing like that. They didn't Boy. have that when you were young? No, no. I guess they didn't have a lot of things when no, you were young. No, no. Well. Yeah. So then ha what happened? I guess girls wore dresses. That's right. The ones that played around did. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, what, you know. Let's get on with the show, Barbara. Playing around. Okay. Can I just show you? I was looking for cards today because it's someone's close to me birthday. Someone's close to your birthday. <laughs> right. All right. I had to send a card to my girlfriend in New York. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I found. Can you zero in on his belly? Okay. I found this card, which is a, a bear at a urinal. And you open it up and it says, So it's your birthday and you've pissed away another year. Oh, You'll have to grin and bear it. Oh. Do you like that? I just think I'm sending her this. Or she's single and I thought maybe this was good. It says they're going to sacrifice a virgin. Oh. Guess you'll just have to watch. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, come on. I got one more, one more, one more. See this horse thing? Because you know now we live around horses. It says thinking of you. Oh, my. Why don't we cook, Barbara? What are we making tonight? We're making, uh, we're making Hillary chili. It's Hillary chili? Yeah, Democratic chili, chili yes. You have Democratic to, yes. chili. You have to be a lawyer to make it, yes. <laughs> turn, why don't you turn the fire on? Oh, hey. I have to blow my nose once more before we start. You have a really bad cold. Terrible cold. Terrible, Terrible cold. cold. But your voice is really nice doctor. and deep and low. I know it. I've been making obscene phone calls all day. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you right. keep getting these colds? That's because you sleep naked. If you I don't put sleep clothes naked. on, you wouldn't get clothes. No. I don't sleep naked. I sleep with pajamas on. You do? Yes. Because yes. I know when I sleep you naked, know, I get a lot of You know, for two years, the wastebasket was right there. For two years, for it two was years, right it there. For two years, it was right there, and now it's here, and I can't get used to it. All right. So what's this? That's hamburger. That's extra lean hamburger. Real lean hamburger. Actually, it's ground sirloin. And? Put it in a pan. <laughs> All right, now. And, be, and because it's so lean, we we're going to put in... Well, to add the oil to it. I mean, well, no, we want to add it right now. This is two tablespoons of oil. You know, he read somewhere where olive oil was good for it you. It is really good for you. It is. It is. Yes, but I don't think in large doses. No, it's I think they mean a little bit at a time. No, olive oil is oh, really let's good. Let's use a slicer. No, the slicer won't work on onions. Yes, that's what no, they use no, on no, TV. No. In fact, you know that slicer, they just sell them. It won't slice anything. <laughs> That's right, yeah. But you know, they've been selling slicers like that for 40 years. They never have sliced anything, but people just keep right on buying them. Um, what am I supposed to do on this end oh, you, here? Oh, you're supposed to chop that up. Oh, boy. What color would you like tonight? Red to match my nails, thank you. All right, all right. All right. Don't I look springy today? Um, you know what, though? I don't think in regular cooking shows this happens. Where the, That's... um... That's the water in the beef. Remember we talked about that at the first show? Because this is splattering a lot. Yeah. And it's making a mess on the stove. Mm -hmm. And if it gets on my clothes, I'll have to shop tomorrow. You, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, really, I should be shopping and hitting the malls more because Orange County is bankrupt. <laughs> and I think that if I spent more time in Fashion Island and less time stirring, it wouldn't have happened. Yes. That's right. Go on. I heard that uh, Governor Wilson is going to run for president. Really? Yeah. Wouldn't that, be, wouldn't that be fun if he got to be president? 
We I had don't Governor know. Wilson is it fun on this to show. Be pres- hey, that's you right. remember? We had him on that's this right. show. He came to see our show. Yes, he did. <laughs> he had nothing to do. No. <laughs> hey, yeah. so if he becomes president, you think maybe they'd hire us as the White House chefs? Probably. <laughs> Probably. We work cheap. <laughs> All right. Now, these onions are all diced. Isn't that nice? All diced up nice. Look at that. Ah! Look at that. All right, all right. Now, now we've got to have our... Boy, this audience is easily entertained. <laughs> all right. This is our um, transfer plate. Transfer plate. That's yes, a technical yes. term for all you novices out How there. How is our hamburger doing? Is it doing all right? Um, it's turning a good, nice taupe color. Now, this is really a quick recipe, so we got to fool around a lot during this show. Well, you know, I was the queen of the quickies. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. Okay, so right. how what do I we know got? when Barbara, this... don't throw it all over the stove. Well, that's because the pan is not big enough. You know, I do have a bigger pan that's like that. Well, Maybe I if I had the right it. utensils, okay. I would be light years ahead of myself. We need to put some salt in there. Oh, here's some salt. Okay. Yeah. Too. So this is just... Just to stiffen it. <laughs> no. no, that to tighten up the arteries a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You know, salt retains water, and that means you'll have to take a water pill later. I've got a, main, I've got a uh, recipe here. I've got to read it now. This is... Or garlic. Garlic. Use real garlic like they do on the Food Channel. Because it's hard to chop. The little old things are just so small. I usually cut my finger. And, and this is well, it's the same stuff. Two teaspoons of garlic. What did he say? It is not. There must be someone in the audience that cooks. No. <laughs> all right. Well, it's almost the same stuff. Oh, but you know what? I like it because it's yellow and it matches my apron. <laughs> All right. And you know how we believe that looks are everything. Now, this is oregano. What is oregano? I don't know. What is it? Does anybody know where oregano comes from or what it is? Comes from um, leaves. There's you know, like it looks an like, oregano tree. It looks like you could probably smoke it. <laughs> All right. So what's so chilly about this? Well, it's, it's, it's just chilly. It's, uh, we're, we got chili powder. We're going to put chili powder in there. But this looks just like the taco recipe we made the other day. <laughs> I mean, it's all going to be one big blur. Yeah. It well, either you know, looks like dog food, chip beef on toast, or the taco recipe. Uh, if well, it we, wasn't for the fact that I'd wear a different outfit, people would think they're watching yeah. the same show. You know, they're liable to figure that out, and we're going to be all through. Okay, so these are green peppers. This is green peppers, yes. How many green peppers? One big green pepper, large green pepper, or two small ones. Whatever. No. One large one or two small ones. <laughs> Very precise. And we dice them up. Well, see, I bet you you could do that with that slicer, too. No, you can't. It won't work. <laughs> but this goes nice with my nails. Look. Yeah, it does. You mean the green? It yes. does. Yes. All right. Into our transfer plate here. Um, so what happens when this gets kind of burnt? Oh, we've got to turn the fire down. Yeah. Let's see now. Did we put it? We put this in. What? Did we put this in? No. No, we didn't. What's Cumin. that? Cumin. Cumin. What is cumin? No, yeah, I have no idea what cumin is. That's well, just doesn't like, it say? It's kind of like ground up oregano, I think. <laughs> it looks like it. But you always put cumin in chili. You do? Yes. So cumin and chili go hand in hand. Girl. All... Ah, no, all right. All right. Well, does it smell like anything? Yeah, it smells like cumin. Smell? <laughs> yeah. Stir it up. All right. This stuff is really good. I've made this before. It's, this is really good stuff. You and say it, that every week. And it's so quick to make. Now, these are Ralph's... No, right here. Ralph's diced and peeled tomatoes. 
Why you know, do they dice them and peel them? Well, then we don't have to dice them and peel them. And they're diced and peeled. Well, if you knew how to use the slicer, I bet you you could. <laughs> Barbara, that slicer does not work. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to take it home and read the directions. All right. And then I will add that to my repertoire. Okay. All right. Now. Don't get any on me. No, I would never get it on me. Oh, isn't that pretty? That is pretty, isn't it? All right. Yes. Oh, a symphony of color. You get so excited over food. Oh, I do. I, this Will is, this, this is like going to be good. Always. What other things do you get excited about? I used to like girls when I was young. And so what age does that excitement seem to wane? I, I really don't know. I haven't quite got that old yet. You know, I tried to get him to take an antihistamine before the show started, but no he drugs. wouldn't do it. I don't use drugs. No. Taking an antihistamine is going to make you a mainliner. <laughs> no, but, but that's how people get started, you know. Yeah. All right. I mean, I could just see it now. He's going to have to be an antihistamine anonymous. Oh, the meanest. Oh, here, I found him. Looky here. But you had him before. You just used him. Oh, that was the last show I'd lost him. That's right. <laughs> Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, hap that happens when you get old. You know, you just can't, you know, it's hard to... All right, now this is chili powder. Chili powder. Chili powder, yeah. Okay. We're going to put in two tablespoons. Full. Two tablespoons. Yeah, isn't, isn't this a neat container? That is a very neat container. That. Yeah, all right. Now stir that up. Now it's starting to look like chili. Do you think so? It smell like chili, yeah. I don't think this looks like chili. It doesn't sure have does. any beans. Well, doesn't chili have beans in yes. it? Yes, this is going to have beans. Be patient. Yes. Now we now we're going to get into the beans. Beans. Because we've got beans right here. Do you have any beano? Ralph's. <laughs> no. You know Ralph sells beano. It does. They do. Yeah, they well, sell beano. Well, when you make chili, you should have beano. Yeah. What if you could just put that right in the chili? This is. This is Ralph's black beans. Black beans. Yes. Frijoles negro. Wow, you're That's bilingual. What it says. No, it says that on the can. It says that right on the can. Yeah, it does. Yes, it does. Somewhere. Remember um, that lady sent us a Norwegian bean spoon? I don't have it with me. It was a bean spoon that had a little ladder on the, on the handle of it, and she said that... <laughs> oh. What was that? <laughs> She All said right. that, the, that you used it to cook beans and it took the gas out of beans because the little farts climbed up the ladder and jumped out of the pan. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh boy. I'm not kidding you. She actually, we, that's a real true story. I'm Barbara. not smart enough to make this stuff up. Now we're, now we're cooking. Now the beans are here and it says we're supposed to drain these beans, but I'd hate to drain That, that stuff looks so good. No, drain them. No, let's don't. Let's don't. <laughs> no, no, no. Look at that. There's nothing to drain. There's nothing to drain. No, that's great. All right. Um, so, so now, if you were making this, let's say, for company, um, that obviously you didn't want to return to your home, uh, how would you serve this? Oh, we're going to put it in a, in a nice serving dish. Oh, and that will make it better. Oh, yeah. You know, it's all done, practically. It is all, all we, done. All we have to do is put it in the serving. And Barbara, how can you throw all that stuff out of the pan? I mean, my gosh, look at here. Wow. But you know, you shouldn't cl um, clean with a, a rag around an open flame. No, why not? Because then you'll set yourself on fire. Okay. Oh, and right. the show could get very exciting. <laughs> All right, All right so where's our dish? Right here. Looky here. Oh, look how Gorgeous. exotic. Gorgeous. Ooh. Oh, wait. Yeah. Put it on. Yeah. Let's turn the fire out now. Okay. Here, let's move over. Right, I'll move this, this over, over there here. so All we right. can put it on our sky cam. All right. Boy, that's a noisy thing, isn't it? Oh, look how lovely. And so now you take it and you put it in. Oh, isn't this wonderful? I don't think this is the way you do it. No? Well, but it's go too ahead. heavy it, to it lift. Is, it's too heavy. Go ahead. It, it's all right. How else would you do it? Because we had to fool around some anyhow. That's all right. Go ahead. 
How else would you do this? Well, with a, with a big thing, with a big scooper outer. This? No, that's a little one. Just keep doing it, Barbara. Okay. <laughs> You're getting there. You're getting there. Look at that. Now I think we can lift it. You think so? See if you can lift it. Okay. Oh, you can. Barbara is strong. Now, oh. Uh oh, uh oh, wait. This is not going to work. You Here. know what? Either you should grab that or this is going down. <laughs> Let me have it. Oh, boy. I could, like, direct it. <laughs> okay, okay, that looks wonderful. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look I at that. Look at that. Isn't that great? Wow. Wow, look at that. Hi there, ma'am. How are you? Well, I'm just fine. How are you? Great. What's your name? Mary. Hi, Mary. That's a very pretty sweater. Oh, thank you. Have you seen our show before? No. And how'd you like it tonight? I liked it very much. What was your favorite thing? You. Me. <laughs> Isn't she sweet? No, what'd you like about the real show with John and Barbara? Uh, I like watching them make the chili. Okay, did you try it? No, because I think it's too hot for me. Okay, I can understand that. Now, what, what is one of the most passionate things that's ever happened to you in your kitchen? You're asking personal questions. Well, not personal. <laughs> it's just you and me. There's nobody yeah, else out nobody there. Nobody else, of course not. Have you ever cooked naked? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, I thought you liked me. <laughs> I do, but I'm not going to tell you. Well, thanks, Mary. Hope glad you had a good time. Thank you. Hey, Murray, how you doing? Murray. How you so, doing? What's your name? My name is Greg. Greg, you're a lot of fun in the audience tonight. Have you been here before? No, I haven't. Have you watched this before? No, I haven't. <laughs> Why were you here then? I was dragged. Was it worth it? Yeah, it was. It was. I'd like to come back. Ooh, cleavage. Cleavage. There you have it, folks. Another episode of Fred the Stiff Chicken Interviews. I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope you're enjoying the show. Come back and see us again soon. See ya!